Hi, Ren. <laughs> All right, Ren. Chalk outlines. Live. Okay, so from the the uh, the thumbnail, looks like it's it's much like uh, Screech's tail, Jenny's tail, live like that. It doesn't look like it's a uh, concert live because there's a gal on the picture with him. So I, it looks like it's just a studio live kind of performance. Um, so Ren, man, Ren, love this guy. Let's just let's just. Let's go. Let's jump in. Wait, here we go. Let's see here. Just looking at what is all this stuff on the box office detail? All this stuff. You know, one thing that I like about his performances that I've witnessed so far is he's mindful to take his time between, you know, uh, musical interludes and stuff. He, he takes his time with it. He's a true bard and... Um, He's such an entertainer and pours himself so full heart full heartedly into his into his craft. It's really really a joy to see. And again, not a lot of high tech audio or video. You know, it's just all very chill. Chalk outlines. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, what is see? He's just taking his time with this getting this thing started. <laughs> okay. Oh, electric guitar this time. Okay. You hear him but you can tell there's no post editing here at all in his songs because you always hear all the little imperfections of vocal instrument and all that and just is all so impressive because he does all the stuff like in one take and it's like man it's really cool stuff here we go chalk outlines <laughs> I bet I can play that song. I'm still here in this bed that I crawled in. You see what I'm saying? Look, how he takes his time. It's all very, it's all very intentional. You know, it just how he does his, 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 his songs and just has these little subtle breaks sips the wine doesn't chug the beer per se you know he just take he just is a true artist I'm still here in this bed that I crawled in pause for effect I hope that I'm someone else in the morning wow wow two lines in and I'm already like wow I can relate. So take this one, wash it down, and you'll be fine. And walk around in the floating chalk outline. Ooh, interesting. So it's almost like dead man walking, you know? He's living his life one moment to the other, medicated the whole thing, hoping he'd be someone fresh and new in the morning. Um, and then takes the pills, walks around like a dead man walking. I'm walking around in a floating chalk outline. Wow, wow, wow. So it goes, let it be in the gallows, balanced on my toes so I can breathe. Hmm. But little by little, 
interesting. That whole thing of, um, and so it goes, let it be. In the gallows. Gallows, he's just like in the gallows, probably got the, the rope, the proverbial rope around the neck, trying to carry on, trying to persevere on his tippy toes, trying not to get choked out on the literal battle line that can separate you from life and death. This, this man has such incredible depth. It's frightening <laughs> to think about it um, on, on, on how he writes. Um, wow. Serious stuff. Balanced on my toes so I can breathe. Wow. What a place to be. But little by little, bit by bit, I push it back down with a new habit. Profound, but <laughs> profound, no joke. And then he's suggesting we erase ourselves in these chalk outlines, almost like, is that leaving? Hmm. Okay, here, here's the girl that I saw. How do you type? Don't cry cause there's a pill for everything. Wow. Take this one, wash it down and you'll be fine. Wow, she's good too. I'm not sure who she is. Anyone in the comments? Does she have other work? I'm sure she does. Uh, we, we know she's not a typist. <laughs> how do you, how do you, it's almost like I've always wondered, I've always wanted to ask, and maybe some of the gals out there that have these kind of longer fingernails, it's almost like a voluntary, it, it seems to me it's like you're volunteering to be handicapped in a way, like you're handicapping yourself to where if you want to pick up a penny or uh, you, I have the same issue. I, you know, you guys, I'm sure noticed over the millions of, minutes I've spent on here. I chew my nails. I, I've fed it since I've had teeth and I was a kid. I can't break the habit. And it comes with its own handicap. Talk about picking up a dime or a penny, you know. You got you make do with not having fingernails. But that's a habit. It's a it's a bad, bad habit. But it's like for someone to allow themselves to just I'm just gonna put these long fingernails on. How do you cope? Like how do you do it? I'm just curious if it's worth it. <laughs> Is it worth it? Almost like you took these pills, you took this, you took this medication and you basically just died your true self by drawing this chalk outline. This outline around your body, it's no longer you. It's a dead person. Mm. So Love their harmonies. In the gallows, I'm balanced on my toes so I can breathe. Oh, she's amazing. But little by little, bit by bit, I push it back down with a new habit. If not for long, just for a while, I bury myself with a great big smile. What a really profound, insightful way to say it. That you're walking around in these chalk outlines. You've seen all these murder scene movies where you get the chalk outline person of the dead body on the ground. 
but we're taking our own chalk and are tracing our own outlines of ourselves in these little things that we pile on ourselves. Oh, oh wow. so hard. Racing ourselves and just exchanging for a chalk outline. I'm scared of being okay because all things change. I'm afraid to be okay because okay can end and then I'm not okay. So let's medicate. All things change. Wow. Such a perfect day. It's a beautiful shame. It's a beautiful shame. I'm scared of being okay. And look at how she is pouring herself into this. She is. I'm gonna go back a little bit. Just I'm kind of like really captivated by her her performance too. It's such a perfect day. It's a beautiful shame. It's a beautiful shame. Get a being okay, wow. cause all things change. Mm. But little by little, bit by bit, I'll push it back down with a new habit. If not for Yeah, that new habit, it yeah, may not be for long, just for a little while, just to get past it, just to, just a little little more, just to, I need, just need to cope, I just need a little bit. You know. Chalk outline. Oh, just for a while, I'll bury myself with a great big smile. Oh, mama, oh, mama. We trace ourselves in these chalk outlines. Oh, mama, oh, mama. Wow. We raise ourselves in these chalk outlines. Chilled out. <sighs> wow. Wow. I push pause on my recording instead of just pause on the show. <sighs> no editing here, folks. <laughs> Um, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Profound. And knowing where Ren's come from and, and all of the years of illness and the psychotherapy and the struggles and the illness and trying to assimilate into normalcy, you know, again, this is, this is just like, how adversity strengthens us if we give it a chance, if we, if we allow ourselves to overcome on our own strength rather than the strength of a small little pill or a hit or whatever. And those things, they, you know, like story time real quick. You know, I, I mentioned this in another video some of you may not have seen that video, so I, I just kind of repeat the quick story. But I was, um, I had a uh, ankle injury, rolled it bad, rolled it bad to the point where it was like it was, it was bad. I need medication, and I had a doc. He was one of those docs that was cool with giving refills of oxy, right? And I quickly realized that after you know a couple refills of 20 pills each right i realized like my dad you know he has he had more of a uh, kind of like an addictive kind of way about him with the alcohol and all that he did and, and all that kind of stuff and so I've always been afraid of that. I've always been kind of like, I don't want to, I don't drink 
Um, not just because of the, the, the Christian angle of it, but it's just like I saw how it destroyed his life and I don't want to destroy mine. I don't want to fall into the same mistakes. You learn sometimes by the mistakes of others. And But then I found myself realizing, oh, wow, like this is getting a grip on me. <laughs> this is getting a grip. And um, I had to just, I had to just stop taking them, you know, just deal with the pain. But it started to kind of get me. And boy, isn't it weird how these little moments of high, you know, that you get the endorphins and, or the, 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 the feeling you get of just, you know, that feeling that doesn't last. It's, it's a, it's a, it's an imposter. It's, you know, it's not real. It, we may think it's real at the time, but it's not. And all it is is just a, it's just a piece of chalk waiting for you to graft out an outline of a dead man walking that you've erased yourself in exchange for what? It's hard. It is so hard, that kind of addictive feeling and that draw to get on that kind of thing very tempting, very real, and very devastating when it finally gets a, a foothold to where now you can't get out. Now you need it. Oh, wow. Chalk outlines.